Hey guys! So, it's raining outside. I don't know if you can quite hear that, but I love the rain. I absolutely love the rain. But, during the rainy time, I decided to do a spring-inspired look. So, it's these bright kind of chartreuse green and grassy... as a car goes driving by. So this look is definitely inspired by springtime and all the trees and the bright blooming lovelies that are going on and all the pollen. But it's definitely a bright fun look, something to brighten up your spring day and if you're interested in seeing how I did this, stay tuned for the tutorial. Oh and can I tell you how much I love this dress? Let me show you, let me just give you a quick view of it. It's really cute. I really love it. And if you want to know where I got it from, I got it from Cara, which is just this store in a mall close by to me. I don't know if it's everywhere. I've actually Googled it and it's not everywhere, but um, I just love this dress. So I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. So I already filled in my eyebrows and my next step would be to apply a primer. And this is my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this I apply to my eyelids to help prevent my eyeshadows from creasing since I have oily lids. So go ahead and blend that across the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. Now my next step is to apply an eyeshadow base since we're using bright colors and for this I'm using my Lane Lo Paint Pot from MAC and my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm going to apply that on my lid and up to my brow bone again. And what this does is give the eyeshadow something to adhere to and this will help them to kind of stand out a little bit more boldly a little bit more intense than it would just with a primer alone. For my first eyeshadow I'm going in with a matte white color right here and this one is from Sephora it's their Let It Snow and it's a matte white and I'm applying that with a MAC 239 eyeshadow brush just kind of packing that on right in the inner lid area the inner lid and tear duct so just pack that color on I'm just using patting motions I'm not sweeping it I'm just pressing it in so that the color is intense I'm grabbing a blending brush this is my Hakuhodo J5523 brush I labeled it so I would know the number and it's just a nice soft blending brush it's fluffy so it's gonna blend out the edges of that eyeshadow so they it doesn't look as harsh as it did before then my next color is a kind of sour lemon green color and this is True Chartreuse Pigment from MAC. I'm picking that up on the same 239 brush just on the other side and packing it on next to where we applied the white. So just pack that on kind of right in the middle of the lid, not going too far over onto the outer lid area. If you need to pick up more color, go ahead and pick up the color and just keep patting it on until you get to the level of intensity you want. Then I'm just grabbing that blending brush again and going back and forth at the edge of that color just very lightly, light windshield wiper motions and also between the white and the true chartreuse to kind of let them blend in seamlessly together. Next on the agenda is a bright grass green color. This is Sassy Grass Eyeshadow from MAC. It's a matte, vivid grass green color. Same MAC 239 brush, just pick that color up and apply it to the outer lid. Again, in press in motion so you deposit the color and get the most intensity you can without blending just yet. So just tapping that color onto the outer lid area. Since these are matte colors, you may need to just apply and reapply to get the level of intensity because matte colors will do that they need to be built up they don't like give you full-on color in one sweep then again grab that blending brush and blend out the edges very lightly Then for my outer crease area and my outer V, I'm going to grab this blue tone purple here, which is number 24 from Sephora, and it's called Full Moon Romance. I'm going to grab that with my 239 and apply it to my outer crease area. Now again, I'm going to make sure I kind of press that color in so I get the intensity I want 
rather than start blending right away so press that color onto the outer V area and outer crease. Then I'm gonna grab that blending brush that we were using all this time and blend it across on the brow bone and crease area kind of light windshield wiper motions carrying it over into the inner crease just blend out the edges lightly so that it fades so circular motions help windshield wiper motions help but just lightly blend out the color so it's not there are no harsh lines Since the colors are a little bit faded because of the blending, I'm just going to pick up that 239 with some more of the color and kind of push it back on that outer V. And I'm going to wipe off the, the same 239 and kind of fade the edges with the very tips of the brush. So you're kind of helping it blend into that fade we already have without di disturbing too much of the color. Like that. Now for my highlight, I'm going to grab this color here, which is number 75, and it's called Sandcastle, it's also from Sephora, and my MAC 252 paddle brush, and just apply that lightly under my brow and blend it downwards into that purple, so it will help to fade out the edges a little bit more as well. Now that we've placed all the colors, now you want to go in and double check again because these are matte colors, so they blend out really easily. So go ahead and add more color if you need it. For this, I think I need a little bit more green, so I'm going to add it with the my MAC 239, just pushing it where that green is, kind of intensifying it and making sure I blend it in with the other colors. And I think the purple needs a little bit more, so I'm going to take a Sonia Kasha crease brush and just kind of apply a little bit more color without disturbing the blend that we have. I'm going to grab the blending brush and just re-blend the edges so no harsh lines are there. Then to help clean up, I'm just grabbing a makeup remover wipe and just removing the edges of that color on the outer V, cleaning up all the fallout. Then for my lower lash line, I'm just grabbing my MAC 242 brush and applying some of that purple right on the lower lash line area. These colors don't need much to show up, so I don't need to put down a base or anything. So I'm just using that color straight from the eyeshadow pen. Then I'm just going to quickly line my waterline with a black eyeliner. This is Smolder Eye Pencil from MAC. Then I'm going to create a winged eyeliner, and this is the Curve Ergonomic Eyeliner from NYX and just create a winged shape. Then go ahead and apply mascara. This is my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And don't forget the lower lashes. Now I'm going to apply my false eyelashes and for this I'm using my Erotica from Beauty Sense. And I'll be right back to finish up the rest of the face. Now for my lips, I'm going to use a lip tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And it's called Memento and it's just a subdued pink coral color and it's really subtle on the lips. I'm just grabbing a bit of that on a lip brush and applying it on my lips. Okay, so now that I've finished up the eyes and the lips, I'll go ahead and show you the completed eye look up close. And now we can move on to the rest of the face. For my cheeks, I'm going to use one of the Pierre Hardy blushes from NARS, and this is Rotonde, which is 
a dusty orange color with a kind of golden overlay but that goes away so it's really just a dusty orange color and my Haku Hodo J5521 brush and this just grabbing some of that color and popping it right on the very tops of my cheeks and this color is very pigmented and very intense so blend it out like crazy because it will show up really crazy on your cheeks so I'm just buffing that in so it doesn't look quite as bright and then for my contour of course I'm grabbing my Makeup Forever contour kit number two and my Sigma Angled Kabuki brush and just applying that to the contour of my cheeks just to add a little bit of dimension. So there you go guys, that's the completed look. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and if you do, definitely hit thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! So there you go guys, that's the... Woo!